Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today we are watching Bumblebee. We were not originally going to watch Bumblebee when we did the Transformers series, but we had enough comments requesting us to watch it. We decided to go ahead and give it a watch. I saw this movie once in theaters. This is not directed by Michael Bay. Uh, I think it's Travis Knight actually. How are you feeling continuing on our Transformers journey with Bumblebee? Bumblebee! I'm so excited for Bumblebee. Um. I've been waiting for this since people have mentioned that there is a movie called Bumblebee. I'm assuming that Bumblebee is like the star of this film. I'm hoping that that's the case because Bumblebee does not get the credit that he is due. I don't feel like throughout the Transformers movies, I was always hoping for just more spotlight for my favorite guy and I just never got enough. So I'm really hoping that this is gonna be good. I mean, it's Bumblebee, of course it's gonna be good. But I'm curious to see how this movie is gonna go if he's the focus. Either way, I'm excited to check Bumblebee out. I don't remember anything about this movie at all. It's one that kind of like uh, Age of Extinction in the last night when I first saw them in theaters, it's sort of into my eye holes and then as I left the theaters out of my brain. <laughs> and this one's kind of similar. Uh, I remember this one, actually I won't say, I'll hold up on that. But for now, let's not forget the comments of the day. I'll put these back, I'm sorry, sweetie. You scared oh, Boston. I actually hurt my knee on that one. You okay, Boston? Today's comment of the day comes from Courtney Boyd, who says, y'all should watch Bumblebee. Not to worry, we are. But I got another one for you. That's okay, this one comes from Melanie Belmonte, who says, please react to Bumblebee movie. We've seen your comments, we've heard you, and we will. The actual comment of the day comes from Sekonic, who says, I'm excited to see Jen finally watch Bumblebee. I know she'll love it, and hopefully the 86 original film as well. We will be watching the animated film too. It's a bit cheesier given the year that it came out, but the 86 movie is genuinely a great watch and one I'm eager, eagerly waiting for her to react to. Yes, I agree. I think that this will be a, a different flavor of the Transformers movies. Also, I've been noticing more and more in the comments that somebody has been going around impersonating me, commenting on people's posts repetitively with my picture, saying to message them on Telegram for some PlayStation 5 or some nonsense. I've had a couple people even email me trying to claim that prize. I've gone through so many times, the person keeps making fake accounts and doing that. Guys, I promise you, I will never try to give away something on Telegram. What do I look like? I just wanted to keep that out there. Hopefully, most of y'all I know are smart enough to look at the title and know that it's not really me, but some people, you know, they're, they're trying to take advantage of, so don't let them. But for now, let's go ahead and get into it. Bumblebee. Special thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video. I used to love eating the souls of grief-stricken teenagers, but now I enjoy the taste of Factor's fresh, never-frozen, dietitian designed meals that are delivered right to my doorstep. I would always go through the drive-thru eating unhealthy teenage souls on the go, but because Factor arrives pre-prepared and is ready to eat in only two minutes, I've been feeling like a more powerful adversary to those children in Indiana. I love how Factor is so flexible in that I can easily adjust my order sizes, enjoy the meals with a loved or despised person, and even skip a week if I have a special event. Like destroying the girl who sent me to this dimension. Don't believe me? Watch how simple it is to prepare. Menus are updated weekly to help keep things fresh and fun. Choose your favorite meals or let Factor craft your order based on your taste preference and meal history. Jen? Sweetie? Jen? Head to go.factor75.com slash Holden130 and use code Holden130 to get $130 off across six boxes. Jen! Head to go.factor75.com slash Holden130 and use promo code Holden130 to get $130 off across six boxes. Thank you. 
And if I only could, I'd have a factor meal And I'd get it to swap foods, places Eating all this junk, cooking all this crap Be changing my habits to factor If I only could Oh, babe, I thought I lost you. Why'd you wake me up? I had a factor meal in my dream. Give factor a try. You might fall in love with it. Stranger things have happened. Look at her. She's I would never. So terrified. I would never do anything to hurt you on camera. Come on, on camera. <laughs> people love the dogs. Come on, come on, good girl. Some people hate the dogs, actually. I know. I don't know who you people are. I mean, I get it. I forget who directed this. I, was it, I think it's Travis Knight. Travis Knight. Yeah, he directed it. Yep. They brought me to the front lines! I lost Um, what? Who are these people? Who's the set? Optimus! Look at him go. I love Optimus. Wait, is when is this set? This is a soft reboot, I believe, before the first. Oh. Sorry, Mike. Hit a little traffic. Oh, he's got his voice. Uh, Optimus. <laughs> Autobots, fall back! Cybertron has fallen. Our other Autobots scattered across the galaxy. We must reach them if we hope to survive. We have to fight for it. That, wait, who's that? That's Bumblebee. Why does he look so small? Fight on. He's just small compared to- Has he to... always been that small? Yeah, he's just small compared to Optimus. Well, if the Decepticons find it, then our people are truly finished. Good luck, soldier. I'll buy you some time. Ah! There goes Optimus. Oh, Bumblebee. Look at Cybertron. 1987. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, okay, okay, I'm dead already. Why is that John, John Cena? Cena? John Cena wearing camo. Why bother? Because I love you. But you refuse to let it in because you got intimacy issues. The therapist will probably tell you you weren't. Uh. Oof. Boston's so concerned. Bumblebee. That'd be pretty scary. Oh no! Is Bumblebee gonna be like the enemy the entire movie? Well, unfortunately, he landed at a military base slash paintball course. So. Well, he's not hurting anyone. Well, he hurt a few people right there. It wasn't on purpose. Well, they don't know that. Oh, I don't like this. Slide. I thought he was gonna be like you know the hero for the whole movie. We're just gonna hunt him down. Oh, me. Oh no! Light it up! <gasps> Ooh, a close one. Thank God. Oh! T boned. Oh no. Come on, Falcon. Up. I don't want to hurt anyone. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Jeez. Now you're just screaming. Oh yeah. Stab him. Somebody's wife on Dateline. <laughs> I've been having him watch Dateline all the time. Yeah, it's been a bit much for me, but. Oh man. Oh no. I'll never talk. <laughs> Let's make it official. Oh! Oh my god! Pulled the old <gasps> Ursula Ariel on him. No more voice for you. Oh, that's why he doesn't have a voice? Yeah, cut it out of him. Oh no! Oh! oh. No! Jeez. Good for him. Oh no. John Cena. Oh no, Bumblebee! Oh, he lost his voice and his memories. It's Bishop! Uh oh. Caught. Gross. Ron. <laughs> Conan is Otis's dog making. Oh. Hey, look, Boston. <gasps> She's watching. Follow you on your bike so nobody abducts him. Abducts him? <laughs> if anyone tries anything, I will rupture their freaking spleen. If this isn't Savannah and Fox. Yeah, for sure. 
Oh, hey, hot dog on a stick. Is that a thing in uh, the Midwest? It's a thing everywhere. A hot dog on a stick? Oh. It's a corn dog. Oh, well, why don't they say corn dog? Oh, that is bad. Excuse me. Hi. We've never actually Sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, classic rom-com. If I had to wear that, I would pray to be fired. Okay, all right. Well, just relax. Boston is literally watching. <laughs> it's your happy dicks. Russians going to blow us all to hell anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ew. Oh, yeah. Autobots. Roll out. Where is Optimus Prime? Oh, jeez. survived the fall of Cybertron. My name is Cliff Jumper. My safe return will be concerned. Wrong answer. Is this movie just a massacre? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Oh, Cliff Jumper. <gasps> Cliff Jumper. <laughs> Looks like he's not gonna be jumping any more cliffs. Talk about your splitting headache. Hey, where did you get that beetle? I gotta see what happens to Alf this week. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. I love you, come on, open your present. I'm gonna be late for work. <laughs> Helmet. <laughs> this is oh, us. Oh, that is not. This no. is us and that is you. No, it's not. That is you. It says to the world, I'm fun and approachable. You do keep crab keeps. <laughs> Just Falcon, if you could get your butt out of my face. Trying to find a comfy spot, hey good. <laughs> Does Bumblebee generate the key as well? Like when he transforms? Oh my god, thank you so much, I love you. That thing ain't even safe to drive. <laughs> Are you watching? What is that? I wish I knew more about cars. It's uh, Bumblebee's peen. Broke off there. I doubt it's that big. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Oh God! Oh, How's she gonna react? I think he fits in there. Yeah, no kidding. She's stuck in a kite. Oh! Oh! It's you, Falcon. Oh my God! I'm gonna cry. It's my car. Uncle Hank gave it to me. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking cry. Bumblebee is a warrior from an advanced civilization. What is he doing? Oh, he's scared. Again, a warrior from an advanced civilization. He's scared. Oh. And he can't talk. Oh my god, this is gonna make me cry. This is so sad. Isn't this the saddest thing you've ever seen? I don't know about that. Look at him. He reminds me of Falcon. Oh! Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton? I do. We're having two very different reactions to this movie. Bumblebee. That's your outfit, too. This is like Lassie, but with a robot. Tried to sleep with my Ow. sister! What? Successfully! <laughs> oh, well. God, Roy, that thing is coming right for us! No, oh, not my car! Oh! oh. 93 cents for regular. Uh oh. Is that my car? It's more for oh, time. Oh no. Wet by Steve. Oh no. Hey. Oh. Oh. Crap. No. B127's distress signal came from the west. Talk about being bloated. Holy cheese and crackers. I like the way they pop. Boston, you're embarrassing us. Just like Falcon when she ran away. Hey, where are you? Mom took it. <gasps> ran to the vet because he swallowed like a rubber glove or something. Fuck! Okay, I'm starting to regret you now. Oh! Stop it! Oh my gosh, Bumblebee is just the cutest. Don't know how you get during emergencies. I'm a nurse. <laughs> Not of animals. Oh, I'm, I'm good. Now I'm good, thanks. If you see anyone besides me, what do you do? <laughs> Great. <laughs> I love him. He's like the best companion.
canyon. Sure, are making him kind of stupid. You got Jason Burter over here. We are Decepticon peacekeepers patrolling the galaxy. Deception is literally in their name. You want access to our satellites? Our scanner's range is limited. We have a common enemy, Agent Burns. Take us to your leader. <laughs> Take us to your leader. There you go. That whole hand in there. There we go. Alden Hardman, <laughs> she's <laughs> 18. Should we work on <laughs> Optimus. It's B-127. Oh. Go Optimus. Look at him go. Uh, I love seeing Optimus. Ravage, eject. Yeah, Ravage. It was an old uh, cassette player back in the 80s. Yeah, cassette transformers. Oh no. Does this movie have a happy ending? I just have to see. Oh, that's right. He lost his memory. That's probably why he's so passive. You're hiding from something? Hey, are you actually watching it? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Please get me a bumblebee. You gotta get Falcon. No, why would you play this? <gasps> Sorry. Just... Why is she getting mad at him? Yeah, trauma. Hey, you got some moves. What's his favorite? He died of a heart attack. And then we got to say goodbye. Oh. I can't. Bumblebee's eyes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here we go. It's lassie. It really is. All Bee's got to do is just squeeze a little too hard. And then... They literally call themselves Decepticons. That doesn't seem like red flags. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They'll just take their technology to the Russians instead. How kind of you to finally allow us in. I'm very happy to have you here. Do they function worldwide? The telephones? Yes, why? <gasps> well. <laughs> They're combining our technology seamlessly. An interconnected web of information. You're trying to teach yourself how to talk, aren't you? <laughs> Doesn't anyone have the balls to jump off this thing with me? You got the touch. Hey, I know you. I'd love if you just like hit a rock. Yeah, screw that. What are you doing, sweetie? This car is an embarrassment. You should have your dad buy you a better one. Oh, wait. What a <laughs> capital C. Yeah. No, 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 no. Charmin. I love how they're TPing her house. Have you ever TPed anyone's house before? Officially, no. Pete, what? It, what it, um... <laughs> bail, bail, bail. I got insurance. You get what you get. Uh. What are you doing? What are you doing? It was only going like 40. Oh my Jeez. goodness. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at him go. Jeez. Oh, B. He's lonely. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez. He just can't help himself. Yeah, I'm sure you love this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. I 
just call the police, say there was a break in. Yeah, for real. I really can't right now. Oh no, you really can. Everyone's trying to be happy, and all you want to do is make things harder. You know what? You found a replacement for my dad, and I haven't, okay? And I never will. Probably would have been better off saying somebody broke in. Darkest nights produce the brightest stars. My mom got it from Weight Watchers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh yeah. That's what I want to see. He's protecting his girl. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Battle mode. Woo. Oh my gosh. They rolled up <gasps> quick. You'll walk that off, don't worry about that. I don't like this. Stole a box of Malamar spots. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> the thing. I love the thing. Raiders. Oh my gosh, I can't watch this. Last chance. Ooh. It's okay. Oh my gosh. That's kind of convenient. We will fight on. Once we gather the others, we'll join you. Oh. I am coming. We'll burn the whole planet to cinders. We must get word to Cybertron. Burns, we made a terrible mistake. Oh. They're gonna kill us all. Thank you for your hospitality. Ah. Oh. oh. I almost forgot. I didn't. No, 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 no. What? I can fix this. Please. I can't lose you too. Please be. And that's the end of Bumblebee. Memory restoring. There's a door in my way. John Cena, I can't with this. I hate this guy. Oof. Come on, B. Take it down. No, stop. Oh Jeez. my God. He's taking a lot of abuse in this movie. Oh. oh no. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah. Take that, Slimo. Chamachawa, Slimo. Woo! She'll be. Optimus wouldn't like this. Stop! Superman. Oh, these guys. Y'all better are go. If the Decepticons find Earth, then our people are truly finished. So I don't get that honey pot. I'm sorry? See, you can't do that when I say things. <laughs> you lose that car, I will personally rip your face off. <laughs> it. You gotta get out of here, okay? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Oh. oh. Prepare a satellite to transmit our message. I mean, just shoot at the base of that tower there, B. Probably smelled like ass in there. Oh, yeah. There you go, just shoot it. Come on, B. Oof. B is like huge there. Nice. Give him the old one, two, buckle my shoe. Ah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Give him the old powertrain warranty. There we go. Oh, nice. Give him the old JD Power Award. Five star safety feature. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Nice catch. Oh! That's all state stand. Hurry up, Charlie. Oh, man. Oh. Oh! Oh, no! Uh. There we go. Oh, come on, B. Oh, no! Jeez. You missed. Made you look. You kill us both! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Go B, go! Ooh. Oof. Oh yeah, those diving skills. Oh yeah, skills. all right, I dive. No, we don't know if that water's cleared. Oh, it could be massive debris. Let me get Streptococcus. B. Oh. John Cena. You need to get out of here. They're gonna be looking for him. Okay. <laughs> this is it, B. You've got people out there that need you. I gotta let you go. It is Lassie. I don't like seeing Bumblebee sad. Goodbye, Literally, you and Falcon. Could have done that the whole time. Are you kidding me? And that's the car that Sam with Wiki took, right? Because of you, we have a future. <laughs> My name is Bumblebee. That'd be why it's different, because Optimus didn't get to Earth until later. Oh, she fixed her dad's car. Nice, all right. Just finished watching Bumblebee. My feelings towards this movie that I was gonna say at the beginning was that I remembered it being like kind of cute. That's kind of still how I feel now, but I'd love to know your thoughts on Bumblebee, especially in comparison to the other five Transformers movies that we watched prior. That's exactly the description that I would use. It was, it was cute, it was a lot lighter besides Bumblebee just being massacred over and over again. The tone was just a lot lighter. I liked having Charlie as kind of Bumblebee's friend. Um, I enjoyed that. I thought they were a really good duo. So I think that their um, vibe was really good. The storyline was okay, but Bumblebee just made it fantastic. I cannot tell you how much I was eating up having Bumblebee on screen just like continuously. I really enjoyed it. That's what I was looking for. That's what I needed. Bumblebee is such an interesting character and the human element for his character was high in this movie. Just like his eyes and like just emotions that you could see on his face as if he were a human spoke volumes and it really came through in this movie and it just, oh, it just warmed my heart and broke it at the same time. It was, I loved watching it. On the other hand, John Cena could have done without him. I didn't really care about him. Uh, once again, the military didn't really care. Just didn't do anything for me. They were just kind of like there. As far as the two villains, I don't remember their name. On the spectrum of terrifying, not really there, especially compared to some of the Decepticons that we've had in the previous Transformers movies. I thought they could have been more terrifying. So really the thing that I enjoyed about the movie was just seeing Bumblebee in action. I got a lot of the intense fight scenes and I admire the relationship between Charlie and Bumblebee. I liked us being able to get that front row seat to his first interaction, relationship, connection to a human being. Charlie was just a perfect fit for it. And the girl that um, played Charlie, I think did a fantastic job. Memo, I thought he was, he was okay. Um, it was nice to kind of have another character in there. And I felt like his introduction as a character was very natural, like he just, stumbled upon Bumblebee in the garage. I'm glad that they didn't make 
the storyline too complicated because in the past, the other Transformers movies. So I appreciate that. Had Bumblebee not been in this movie or it had been somebody else, I'm not quite sure if I would have received it as well. But um, I think the storyline was good. Love seeing Bumblebee. The CGI I thought was still on point. It was a nice little change of pace to get just Bumblebee in a movie. We had a little bit of Optimus Prime, which I felt like was just enough. It wasn't taking the spotlight over. Didn't care for John Cena, didn't care for the military. Villains were not what I would have liked. But there's always Bumblebee and Bumblebee saved the day once again. So overall, I enjoyed it. Yeah, upon re-watching it, I, there was so much I didn't remember in this one, but I, I liked it a lot. I really did. I love the opening sequence where we get to watch, we can see a start off with a climactic battle on Cybertron. The CGI was good, but it was certainly different, uh, at, especially at the very beginning opening sequence, just the way that Optimus looked. People said that it was a soft reboot. I, f I see that, I feel that, because this does take place prior to the first Transformers movie. But on Cybertron, Optimus is already in like truck mode. He is at the end of this movie on Earth when he doesn't get to Earth till later. And then all the other Autobots are coming to Earth way before they were supposed to. John Cena being in this, I was just kind of like, that's just freaking John Cena just running around here. You can most certainly tell the directorial difference between Travis Knight and Michael Bay. Like this felt like an, almost like an indie Transformers movie. It's like the first Transformers movie where we had a lead female character that wasn't just there for eye candy. They gave mm -hmm. her story, they gave her motivation, they gave her conflict. And I love that, that's great. And I can't tell you how much I enjoyed that it was a female that was very authentic. Like her thing was music. You know, she didn't really care about what she looked like when she got up. That was nice, it was nice to have what was the blonde's name? I don't remember. But it wasn't like she was self-absorbed and like didn't have a purpose. She was very capable. I liked that. So she, you know, I've grown to love Megan Fox's character, but I think that Charlie is probably up there with her, if not my favorite female. Yeah, I would argue that Charlie is the best female character in all the Transformers movies. So really, really loved her. Uh, Haley, Haley Steinfeld, I think is, is her name. She's great. This is when she was coming up into her rise to fame. She was doing several movies around this time. I think True Grit was her first. She was like nominated for an Academy Award when she was like seven. She did some songs that were on all the top 40 stations. I forget which ones they are. And then she's also in Hawkeye now. So she's, she's doing well. <laughs> it was nice seeing Travis Knight's uh, directing where every single shot isn't this overly dramatic, you know, swooping around shot. Every shot is at sunset. Every shot is, it felt like just right. It was, it was just right. I agree with you. The villains were a little too mustache twirly villain, but I do appreciate that. I think they heard a lot of the feedback of all the other Transformers movies being extremely convoluted. And we're like, you know what? Let's just keep this one pretty simple. And I think it worked in this context. I thought that it was, it was a little too convenient with the whole having Bumblebee's memory fading away at the beginning, thus making him kind of more submissive and bashful. And then his memory coming back after he's been revived. The alien monsters are literally cutting other Autobots in half, shooting giant holes in them, and they just sort of use a uh, some sort of other type of gun on Bumblebee leaving his form physically intact that can just be electrocuted back to life And that's what also helps his memory a little too convenient, but that's whatever o Overall this movie is a lot of fun really really enjoyed it. This is a multi-watch type of movie um, And the styles are very different. So if you want you're just you know mind-numbing you know of the other Transformers movies You got Michael Bay and then for something like this you have Travis Knight who Travis Knight by the way directed a movie called Kubo and the Two Strings arguably one of the best animated and underappreciated animated films in the past decade you should go check it out Kubo and the Two Strings absolutely fantastic never got the appreciation it deserved but what would you rate Bumblebee I have to appreciate it for what it is and that's a whole lot of Bumblebee and um, I like that. I liked the uh, lead female character a lot. However, the other half of that, I really didn't care for. I didn't, I thought the villains, they could have done a little more with them, made them a little more intense. John Cena, useless. Uh, didn't really care if he was in the movie or not. Same with the military, but points for keeping it simple. I'm, I'm glad that they did. I like Michael Bay's style. I really do. I can, understand how people get a little wore out on it, but um, it's nice to have a little change of pace 
with it just being like very straightforward and streamlined. So um, I think I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with an 8.5, but wow. that is 100% because of Bumblebee. If it was anybody else, it would be a very low score, but because it's Bumblebee and I just love him so much, it's an 8.5. I feel like you kind of have to pick your poison with these. Michael Bay, we said before, is a lot of style, not a whole lot of substance. I feel like this was quite a bit more substance, but not quite as much style as Michael Bay. So you got to kind of pick which one you, you want more. I think that pretty much on paper, th this is one of the better films in the Transformers franchise. For me, after, upon rewatch, I'd give this one probably about an eight. Eight out of 10. It's a pretty solid, solid, fun movie that knows when to Quit. This was un under two hours, about an hour, 50 minutes long. Good run time, good all around. But of course, these are just our thoughts, guys. We'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. So leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know some of your thoughts on the Bumblebee movie. We will be checking out the 1986 animated film. I'm really excited to watch that because I have not seen that either. So that'd be a first for me as well. Like this video if you enjoyed. It does help the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified next time we post a video. Check out Patreon. You can watch certain videos early. You can also watch the full length reaction of us watching Bumblebee together. We can watch the whole movie together. You'll just need your own copy of Bumblebee to watch along with us. But that is it, Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.